I have never heard this word before. So I have to say, we need to go to the Bible to see what it is. We find the word first mentioned in Deuteronomy. Notwithstanding, thou mayest kill and eat flesh in all thy gates, whatsoever thy soul lustest after, according to the blessing of the Lord thy God, which hath given thee. The unclean and the clean may eat thereof, as of the roebuck, and as of the heart. Only he shall not eat the blood. He shall pour it upon the earth as water. Thou mayest not eat within thy gates the tenth of thy corn, or thy wine, or the, thy oil, or the firstling of thy herd, or of the flock, nor any of thy vows which thou vows, nor thy free will offering, or having offering of thy hand. But thou mayest eat them before the Lord thy God, in the place which the Lord thy God shall choose, thou and thy sons, and thy daughters, and thy maidservants, and thy ma maidservants, and the Levites that is in within thy gates, and thou shalt rejoice before the Lord thy God, and all that thou puttest thy hand into. Take heed to thyself, that thou forsake not the Levite, as long as thou livest upon the earth. When the Lord thy God shall enlarge thy borders, as he hath promised thee, and thou shalt say, I will eat flesh, because thy soul longeth to eat flesh, thou mayest eat flesh, whatsoever thy soul lustest after. If the place which the Lord thy God hath chosen to put his name, there be too far from thee, then thou shalt kill of thy herd and of thy flock which the Lord hath given thee. As I have commanded thee, and thou shalt eat in thy gates whatsoever thou so lustest after, even as the roebuck and the heart is eaten, so thou shalt eat them, the unclean and the clean shall eat of them like. So this is this, and dear, I have to say this is good eating, but I don't think I want to eat the heart. I'll say this for you men. Thou shalt not eat any abominable things. These are the beasts which you shall eat, the ox, the sheep, and the goat, the hart and the roebuck, and the fellow deer, and the wild goat, and the pogart, and the wild ox, and the shamos, and every beast that part the hoof, the cleave, and the cliff, and to two claws, and cheweth the cud among the beasts, that ye shall eat. Well, this is for you men. I have to say, it's always mentioned with the heart, so y'all have good eatings. Thou shalt eat it within thy gates. The unclean and the clean person shall eat it alike, as the roebuck and as the heart. Well, this is the last place it is mentioned, and it's mentioned in First Kings. And Solomon's provision for one day was thirty measures of fine flour, and three score measures of meal, ten fat oxen, and twenty oxen out of the pasture, and a hundred sheep besides hearts, and roebucks, and fellow deer, and fatted fowls. In the Strong's splinter as conspiracy, also a glaze as beautiful, glorious, goodly, pasture, and roebuck. So y'all have some happy eating there, and do it while we can, because they're fixing to be extinct, and the government will not let us hunt them no more, which is a crying shame.